10,000 villagers are stuck on this island and we're gonna hit them with ultra natural disasters. Nuclear clouds, sky quakes, lava tsunamis, farting volcanoes, and even shrink mist. How many villagers do you think are gonna be left alive by the end of the video? Uh. Unleash the nuclear clouds! Hey, look at that. Some of them are getting heavier and coming down to the ground. Ow! Bet you didn't see that coming, you dumb villagers. A few moments later. Ugh. The ones that didn't instantly get wiped out from the nuclear clouds are mutating from the radiation. Our guy probably isn't winning any beauty pageants anytime soon, but at least he's still alive. Look at this. Mutant villagers gathering everybody and they're trying to escape. Who do you think you are, Professor X? Oh, hell no. Wow. Wow, all of the destruction, it's, it's beautiful. But it looks like the nuclear clouds are drained. So what are we gonna do about those runners? Well, what do you know? The water from the ocean is evaporating back into the clouds. But remember, these ain't just any regular clouds, which means, yeah, acid rain. <laughs> it's literally melting the villagers who are trying to run away. Rain, rain, go away, melt a villager another day. <laughs> It's killing all of the crops and vegetation too. That's fine, nobody wants to eat vegetables anyways. <laughs> Good luck surviving without any food or anything to build with. Where's Mutant Boy at though? I wanna see him melt. Huh? When did those sneaky villagers build this tunnel? Doesn't matter. After all that, do they really think they can survive by hiding in this stupid cave? Yo, what? When did they build this? There's a whole friggin' underwater city here. And now they're draining the water so they can live here? Those tunnels that they came in from. Now they're using them to pump in oxygen from outside? If these cowards are hiding underwater, how are my explosions and acid rain gonna get them? It's chill. I had something just in case they try some nonsense like this. Unleash the skyquake! What is a skyquake, you ask? It's just like an earthquake, but in the sky. Ah, look at that! The nuclear clouds are all blowing up at once. Damn! And the Earth's atmosphere is getting blown to hell which means there's nothing standing in the way of the sun. Look at that thick boy. He's angry! Yo! Now that the sun's getting way more intense, all of the water from the ocean is evaporating. Oh, well, look who it is. The villagers' underwater city ain't so underwater anymore. <laughs> what a nice view. Now that the sky is torn open. Yo, what? what the Asteroids are falling in two now. Now that's just a bonus. Oh! Bruh. The asteroids are catching radiation as they pass through the nuclear clouds. So we got nuclear asteroids coming straight for the villager city. Sayonara, you dumb villagers. It's been fun. We've made some great videos together. I might even miss you just a little bit. Yo, what? How do the- Bruh. The city is completely unscratched. Turns out they invested tons into science since they established their underground city. And they've learned how to harness the power from the nuclear clouds. Kind of like how car engines can convert explosive energy into usable energy. These villagers built their protective glass dome to be able to absorb and convert explosive and radiation energy. In other words, the glass dome absorbed all of the explosions from the asteroids and now uses it to power their city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a second, that's stealing! Not only that, but the mutations from the radiation are actually helping the villagers. They've evolved to be able to survive on really little water, kind of like camels. Yo, this damn villager city is now a flying version of Wakanda. They think they can harness my nuclear power and use it for their own gain? Nah, nah, nah. I've just been toying around with these villagers up until now, seeing what they're capable of. But they're not ready for what's next. Unleash the lava tsunami! First, we gotta fill this place up with some lava. Much better. <laughs> Kinda looks like a giant orange peel. But it'll burn your face off! Ah, burn, you dumb villagers! <laughs> Their dumb glass dome wasn't built to take on lava. Bet they never saw this coming. Now you dumb villagers got nowhere to run. Look, it's more crowded than the wave pool at Disney World. You know the one that all the kids pee in? <laughs> Wait a minute, where are the rest of them? No way, don't tell me they- Yo, what? Basically, these stupid villagers reverse engineered the atomic structure of my nuclear clouds, and they somehow managed to evolve themselves into a particle-based life form. 
1,000 of them went through the experiment, and when my lava tsunami hit, they just flew away. The lava couldn't touch them because they're not physical life forms anymore. Now they're building a particle-based city in the clouds? And they're using my nuclear clouds to power their cities directly? Nice. Bro, and the falling asteroids can't even touch them since they aren't a physical form anymore. Wow! Now they're even repairing the Earth's atmosphere directly since they can build with particles! Yo, 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 this is straight up unfair! I know I'm in creative mode, but this is way more cheap than that! Okay, okay, y'all are crafty, I'll give you that. But I had a backup plan, even for this. Unleash the farting volcanoes! I originally made this disaster as a troll. Didn't think I'd actually need it, but it's perfect for this situation. Since they aren't physical life forms, they aren't vulnerable to anything other than particles, right? So how about some poisonous gas? Let's go! Ugh, y'all smell that? Wasn't me. I mean, technically it was because I put the particles there, but shh, semantics. Oh, what do you know? The villagers are getting poisoned. Ooh, they're literally dropping out of the sky like dead flies. Damn! Even their city is getting melted away by the gas. <laughs> you ever seen a fart so bad it killed an entire civilization? Well, now you have. Wait, what's going on here? They're moving all of the poison and sick villagers into one area? Bro, are they seriously quarantining? I don't get it. Y'all are still gonna die from the poison. Like, what's the goal here? Wait a second. Why is this one guy not dying? Yo, what? Did he seriously develop an immunity? What? But how? Like, that's illegal. Now they're studying his DNA to reverse engineer a vaccine? And they even invented a way to turn the poisonous fart gas into an energy source. Yo, what? Now they're expanding faster than ever. Yo, chill, chill. Look at these guys flying around like they own the place. Nah, nah, nah. Unleash the shrink mist. Huh? Looks like nothing's really changed around here. Jokes? Now their entire civilization has been shrunk down to the size of a damn ant colony. <laughs> Losers! So, how are we gonna get rid of them? Got any ideas? I could just step on them or something, but I've learned not to underestimate these dumb villagers. So, just to be safe. Unleash all of the ultra-natural disasters at once! <laughs> All of that versus a tiny villager civilization? Place your bets, people. Yeah, that might be a bit of an overkill. But like I said, better safe than sorry. Aw, look at that. Fireworks. Very fitting for a celebration. Finally, we've gotten rid of those stupid villagers. Huh? What are those? Why are they popping up everywhere? You see them, right? The little specks? Yo, chill, chill. What the Bruh. is this thing? No. You're telling me that every single one of those stars is a tiny villager civilization? And there's how many villagers? 